Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Python. Today we'll be checking whether a word is a palindrome or not and that's going to be done by creating a very simple um, function with an if statement in it which basically looks up the same word and then compares it to the same word in reverse. This is a great fun little code you can do. I think it's awesome. And subscribe to this um, to my channel if you really like it and share it out uh, you know get everyone you know watching it if you really like it one thing I've got to point out is that in um, one of my videos people were very uh, wanted to me to type the code in the video however all my videos are done from scratch and there's a lot of lots of trial and error so I've come up with a sort of um, suitable alternative, which is I'll have the code in a doc string lower down, and I'll write the code above on video live. That way, you don't have to go through my trial and error, and you can see me typing the code as well. So let's get back to it. What is a palindrome? It reads the same left to right as right to left. So, example, mom, short for madam, going from left to right, it's, it's the same as mom going from right to left. That is a palindrome. And naan, as in naan bread, same thing, left to right, right to left, same thing. So, let's start building this. Um, program so type in def for define and this is uh, what we're doing for defining a function is and we're going to call it is palindrome very suitable name I hope you agree with me and then we're going to type in their word because we want the word to be is palindrome so that's how we're going to type our word and then colon enter and then we should get the indent now when there are other there are palindromes which are you know proper names and things like that, which in this code, an example would be Hannah. Hannah is a name, so the first letter will be a capital H, and the last letter will be a lowercase H, which means that the 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 function will read it as not a palindrome. It will come up no for palindrome. So in order to get around that, is I'm going to lowercase everything make sure everything is on the same level lowercasing it and then i'm going to run my if statement to check whether it's palindrome and print out yes for yes if it is print out no if it isn't so next step is to put everything into a lowercase so we're going to have word equals word dot lower and that should put everything in word in the lowercase and then I had a print check here, lower down, if you can see that. However, I think I'll leave it out this time. I think print checks are a very great thing to use. Word equals word. So now we're saying if word left to right equals the same as word right to left. I'm going to do that by putting two colons in, which selects the whole, the whole uh, word. Then I'm going to type in minus one which basically means we're going backwards um, across the whole words from across the whole word from minus one position, which is right at the end. So we're going backwards. So we're saying if word equals words, so forwards equals backwards, then what happens next? We print yes, not yes, yes. I can type, and then. The opposite, if nothing happens, if it doesn't equal that, then we print no. And there we have it. That is our function created. Now we simply activate it by typing is palindrome. And let's, let's check this out. Yes, you see in our output? Yes. And let's check to see if um, it isn't a palindrome so let's type in um, python 
Uh, no, let's type in palindrome rather ironically. No, and let's use something with a cap let's use a palindrome with a capital H. Yes, and let's try and use all capitals. Yes, so this great little function. I hope you really enjoyed it. Check out my channel, subscribe if you like it, because there'll be plenty more coming. I really hope you enjoyed that. It's really fun, great little code. Thank you very much for watching.